my name is Kelly. I'm a full-time reseller. My Poshmark and Instagram are both rebel underscore rose underscore co. So today I'm going to be doing my top sales in 2021. Most people are doing their top 21 sales, so I haven't even counted, but I think I'm going to just do like my top 21 and then just throw in some other ones that I liked also that were good sales. So this is just for Poshmark. I'm going to be doing a separate thread up video. If you like, comment, subscribe, that helps me out a lot. I am not monetized yet. I'm trying to get monetized, but I need like a thousand watch hours. So every like, comment, Every minute you watch, if you watch this video the whole way through, that helps me out a lot. If you are new to Poshmark, I never uh, say my code to anybody, um, but if you happen to be new to Poshmark and you want to make money selling clothes, my code is here. And then we both get, I think you get $10 off your first order and then I get $10 if you buy something. So yeah, if you haven't signed up for Poshmark before and you want to, you can use that code. So yeah, you should definitely follow my um, Instagram. It's reselling with a little bit of uh, hiking and other stuff. Okay, so yeah, these are not in any particular order. First of all, I do not make a ton of high sales. I make a lot of low-end sales and it just adds up. So yeah, these sales are super exciting to me, even $50 sales. So my top sale this year on Poshmark, I know some people sell things for like $400, but I never find super expensive stuff. This item was really expensive and really exciting to me. It was a Roto Italian Rattan Wicker Leather Bag. I didn't know this name, um, this brand at first. I just thought this bag was super cute and I think it was like 10 bucks. And then I looked it up and some of their bags retail for over a thousand dollars. It was very trendy. Wicker is like, or not, it's not necessarily wicker. It's more that rattan, but that's super in the whole like boho style. Um, people really like that kind of stuff. So I was super excited for this, but I did not expect to get $189 for this. So I was really happy. It had like zero interest. It didn't even, I don't think it had any likes. And then someone bought it for full price. So yeah, I was really excited about that. Yeah, so these are not gonna be in any particular money order, like highest to lowest but I'm gonna try and share the more expensive ones at the beginning, but you should definitely watch the whole way through. So I also sold a Max Mara wool made in Italy pea coat. I was super excited to find this. It retailed for over a thousand dollars. It's a wool blend, super nice. It was like a kind of structured, it had shoulder pads and it sold for $105. I was happy with that. Okay, next was another really good sale. I love finding this brand. It was a Johnny Was 100% Silk Jessner Mosaic Tunic. Super pretty top silk. Just like a bunch of different patterns. Very boho. And this also sold really fast. The resale value on Johnny Was seems to be pretty good for the more like exciting items. Because once I found a pair of jeans by them, and they were cute. They were white with like fringe, but they only sold for 30. But their like silk stuff and their patterned or embroidered stuff seems to do really well. So yeah, I sold this for $121 and I was really excited about that. I sold a new with tags $400 Parker embellished tool switch skirt for $130. The style name was Switch. It was this super, super, super heavy skirt. It was tool with beading and sequined embellishments. It was super pretty. Parker is a really expensive brand and I think I have another item on here that I sold by that brand. I'd never really heard of it before but I have done really good with it a couple of times for over $100. I purchased this I think for like $15 and I sold it for $130 so I was really excited for this. This also took up a lot of space. It was like a really bulky skirt so I was super excited to sell this. I sold Freebird by Stephen Dane leather snakeskin boots. I've talked about in a lot of videos keep your eye out on Facebook marketplace. I don't know why I never find clothes on there but I found Rothy's Teaks, Doc Martens, Blundstone, I think that's how you say it, that's on here too, uh, Freebird, multiple times. I just find really expensive brands of shoes on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, definitely keep your eye out on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $25 for these and when I, I hadn't even looked them up, I just knew the name so I messaged her right away because I knew that they were going to sell but I didn't realize that all this distressing was intentional because when I got them, I was like, oh, these aren't in that good a condition, but this is how they're made. They're supposed to look like dirty. So yeah, they're just like Chelsea boots and they have distressing snakeskin pattern. They're genuine leather. So yeah, I sold these for $130 and I was super happy with that. 
All right, this was a Reformation floral off the shoulder dress. It was super cute. It was made in the USA. It was viscose, it felt like chiffon. It did have a tiny hole in the back and I noted that in the description, but it still sold for $100. Reformation is not a brand I come across often. I have found a skirt by them and I think that's it, honestly. I never really come across this brand, but I was really excited to find this item. All right, this is a brand that I was a little surprised about because I have another item by them that I cannot give away. I just sent it into the real real or I either just sent it in or I'm going to send it in. I can't remember. Salvador Fergamano Leather Vintage Flat Loafers. They were gently worn, but they had the box. I think it's because of the style that these sold. They're just a really cute style, just loafers, brown leather, and they were in really good condition. So I think that the style of these is definitely what helped them sell. And they sold for $100. Okay, this item, when I found it at the thrift store, I didn't even look it up. I just picked it up because it was cute. It's this like crocheted, like floral pattern. And I just thought it was cute, it was $4. So I just grabbed it. Cause sometimes I'm like, this will make me money. Like I'm not gonna look it up. And then when I got home, I looked it up and I was like, oh. So the brand is Layla Rose. It was an embroidered crochet lace midi dress. It retailed for over $1,000. I paid $4 for it. Yes, yeah, some other dresses retail for up to $3,000. Um, it did have some stains at the bottom, which was unfortunate. It kind of looked like somebody had like leaned against like a hair straightener or something because it was this like kind of a brown stain in like a, in like a line. So it looked like somebody like burned. So I think somebody like leaned against a straightener or something. But anyway, I sold it for $98. Super happy with that. I probably could have gotten a little bit more, but I was super happy with $98. All right, I sold a newest tags for Love and Lemons Limonada mini dress. It's a size small. I wish this had been my size. This is super cute. This gives me very like trendy Instagram model vibes, you know? Uh, it's just, it was like a lemon or no. I think the print was actually oranges not lemons. The brand is for Love and Lemons, but I'm pretty sure the print was oranges. It tied um, at the bottom of the sleeve. It opened in the back. Just super cute. The sleeves could be worn up or down. It could be worn more like cold shoulder. Super cute. I really wish this had been my size. It did have two small spots on it, but it was new with tags, but I did mention spots obviously. And it sold for $100, so very happy with that. I only looked at this brand because I liked the print. I'd never heard of this brand, but I looked it up just because it's that Monstera tropical leaf print and I thought it was really cute. This was at Value Village, which um, is normally pretty overpriced. And I believe this was $12. I hauled it actually in one of my Thrift With Me videos. I will try and link it up above, but it was in one of those videos. And so I looked up the brand, they retail for like $1,000. And so I picked it up. The style name was La Petite Robe and it was made in Italy. The brand is Chiara Bonnie. It was a tropical Monstera print, super nice. The tag said made in Italy too, so I was curious about that. But yeah, I was really excited for that sale. That was a really good one. It's another really good one. Isabelle Morant Etole. I don't know how to say it. And I'm not sure what the difference is between just Isabelle Morant or Isabelle Morant Etole, if that's just like one of their lines, because I've never found this brand any other time. But it was a wool, it was an Isabelle Morant Etole um wool italian knit sweater super nice it was 100 percent wool not scratchy made in italy super nice i wasn't expecting to get this much though but it sold for 125 dollars. super happy this was a really really nice sweater i was expecting like 70 but i listed it high and i was happy that it did it sold for 125. i sold a new with tags iro $895 silk blend metallic dress. This dress is really pretty. I wish that this was my size. It was black and gold metallic. The style name was Yurung, Y-R-U-N-G. Yeah, it was listed for over a thousand on one site and the tag says 895. It was a silk blend. It, was, it had like a cutout. The skirt was super cute. It was just really, really nice. I would never be able to wear a dress that expensive and I would just want to sell it, but it was really pretty. It wasn't my size anyway, but yeah, this was a very like, reminds me of like what celebrities wear and stuff. So yeah, I sold this for $150. I would have liked a little bit more, honestly, maybe like $250, but yeah, I got an offer and it was sitting, so I took it. Okay, here's um, another Parker one. The previous one I mentioned was that skirt. 
that sold for 120. This was a Parker beaded sequined formal maxi dress. This actually sat for like a really long time. I think because it's it's like basically it looks like a prom dress. It's like silky and it has this like artsy pattern. It was a high neck, it had rhinestones and beads, but it was a very like prom dress style in my opinion anyway. Yeah, it sat for a really long time, but it sold for $80 and I was really happy with that. I will pick this brand up again. I do have one item from this brand listed. It retailed for almost $400. It has no interest, but I'm still gonna keep it listed high just because I know that I did well on these items. Okay, I sold a Tory Burch 100% linen boho embroidered dress. I did not pay much for this and this sold right away too. I rarely ever find Tory Burch, so I was really excited to find this. I was not expecting $85. I think that this sold within a week. So yeah, really excited about this. It was like a dress, but it kind of just looked like a swimsuit cover up. So I wasn't expecting that much, but I love linen and the print was cute. It was very boho print. So I was really excited about that. Pendleton. I know a lot of people have good luck with Pendleton. I do not. I usually send it into ThreadUp because I have gotten payouts of like 70 bucks for their blazers and I can't seem to give it away on Poshmark, but this item did really well. It was a Pendleton 100% lamb's wool gray button up cardigan and I sold it for $75. It was very, very, very bulky. It took up a lot of space, so I was super excited for this. I was expecting maybe 50 but I got an offer for 75. I had a listed high just to start. And so yeah, I was super happy with that sale. All right, Vivian Westwood Anglomania white jacket. This was my one and only time to find Vivian Westwood. I was super excited for it. This was like kind of a weird style, like buttoned, like asymmetrical. And yeah, I it had a little bit of wear and a little bit of discoloration on the inside. Okay, so I sold the Vivian Westwood jacket for $90. I was super excited. I didn't think I was going to get this much, but I listed it high and it sold, I think, pretty quickly. I sold the newest tags, $325 Vince sweater with zip detail for $85. And I don't usually have that great of luck with Vince, but I think because it was the newest tags that this helped. So yeah, it sold, I think it sat for like a really, really, really long time, but it sold for $85. So super happy with that. Okay, here's another one that's over a hundred. Yeah, these aren't gonna be in any specific order. I'm trying to keep the $55 ones for, or not 55, the $50 ones for at the end, but you should still definitely watch those. So this one was one that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I did pay $55 for these, so I did pay up, but they were the Blundstone 550 100% leather Chelsea boots, and they were a women's size 11. So I thought they were gonna sit for forever, but they sold right away for $135. So yeah, they retailed for $200. So the resale value of these is pretty good. Yeah, they were, I thought they were gonna sit for a while because of the size, but yeah, so I paid 55, sold for 135, and I was super happy with that. All right, I sold a pair of Sorel leather out and about duck boots. They were waterproof. Style name was out and about leather and rubber, just lace up duck boots, super nice. My cost of goods is very low for these. I was super happy and I sold them for $75 and I sold one very similar to this last year for $99 that, oh, and I had found those on Facebook Marketplace for $10. So check Facebook Marketplace for shoes. I sold an Escada mint wool silk blazer. This was crazy soft. Um, it was sitting for a really long time with no interest. And so I was thinking of sending it into ThreadUp actually. And yeah, it was made in Italy, rabbit wool, Angora. I don't want to think about rabbit wool. Oh, it was super soft mint and silk, or <laughs> super soft mint wool and silk blazer. Super cute, I sold it for $80, happy with that. This was in a bundle, but it was Giorgio Armani Brown Wide Leg Front Pocket Pants. This brand is so hit or miss for me. I normally send it into ThreadUp. So a bunch of my, when I filmed that video, a bunch of my top payouts are gonna be Giorgio Armani. It doesn't always sell very well for me on Poshmark, but this sold in a bundle. So it technically it says 184, but 
in the bundle when you subtract the other items i sold this for around 100 dollars. Okay, this was one of my favorite finds of the year it was a karen maben 195 dollars satin book cover pajama set i paid like five bucks for this and i hadn't even looked at the brand again i just thought it was cute and i didn't realize that these are expensive so yeah, it retailed for $1.95. It has all the classic books on it. It had The Wizard of Oz, Little Women, The Great Gatsby, Jurassic Park, Life of Pi, Pride and Prejudice, The Bell Jar, The Shining, Secret Garden. And it was sold on Shopbop. I sold it for $80 and it sold fairly quickly. I have never found this brand again. I want to. I would pick this up a million times over. This was one of my favorite sales of the year just because this item was so unique. All right, this was another nice find. The brand was Nicholas. It was a white embossed crop long sleeve top. I actually have another item from this brand. It's 100% silk floral top, no interest in like a year, literally none. But this item sold really fast. It was a white, I will insert a picture of it up close Embossed was the only word I could think of to describe this. And it was long sleeve. It retailed for around $400, but it did have a little bit of pilling and it did have a little spot and it still sold for $78. So really happy with that. I also, I'm pretty sure that I got this in the same thrift haul as that Chiara Bonnie dress. So yeah, if you like thrift haul, or not thrift hauls, thrift with me videos, I have a couple of those up. Okay, this was a new with tags retro fet. Erin yellow star sequin dress, super pretty. Also, I was watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and uh, what's her name? I'm on a different season now, so it's hard to remember her name. I will insert here if I can. She wore a dress by this brand. I was watching the show and I was like, that looks like a retro fet, ret I never know how to say this, retro fet dress and so I was like I googled like the episode and what she was wearing and it was a dress by that brand so and it was yeah it was strapless it had a slit it had yellow sequins and they were in the shape of stars really pretty I actually wish I'd gotten more for this and I did pay up way too much for this so my profit on this item was not really good like at all but it was still a cool sale. I wish I'd held out a little longer on this though. Okay, I sold a Max Mara Italian cream trench coat with belt. It had a few spots and discoloration on the belt, and but it retailed for like over $3,000 and it sold for 140. I was really excited for this. Cost of goods was really low. So yeah, I've had good luck with Max Mara coats. I've sold two of them and I just sent in one to the real real is a leather jacket because it's just been sitting. So yeah, I would definitely 100% pick up a Max Mara jacket. I just wouldn't pay too much for them. I sold a 100% leather flying bikes motorcycle jacket. It was super heavy, super thick, but it was super high quality. It had like some patches and yeah, it was genuine leather. I didn't know anything about this brand really, but I sold it for $105. It sold in a bundle, but I still sold it for $105. Um, if you like count the other items, I sold two other items for really cheap. So yeah, what I sold this for, maybe it would end up being around like $90. But yeah, super excited about that. Okay, next I am going to share a bunch of $50 sales. This is not all my $50 sales. These are just the ones that are popular brands, brands that I want to mention for you to keep an eye out for. Just some of my favorites. There's just gonna be a few. I don't think that these sales are gonna equal 21 because people were doing my top 21 sales of 2021. I am not counting them, but I'm just gonna share a couple more of some of my favorite sales. This item I got for free. It was new with tags, a Rada Silent Journey embroidered floral top. It was very Johnny Was vibes. Like I thought it was Johnny Was when I saw it. Super cute. It was new with tags and it had a, a tag for $139 on it. It had a tag for a boutique in Leavenworth, Washington, which is a super cute little town in the mountains and it's German themed. I went there this summer and I have a bunch of vlogs. I will link one up here. And then I also hiked a mountain up there, so. If you want to see a cute German town and me hiking for nine hours straight, you can watch those videos. Yeah, so this was nice. I sold it for $55. All right, Spider is a brand that I never find. These were women's snow pants. 
by the brand Spider. It's an outdoorsy brand. They sold for 50 and I was happy with that. And I'm gonna skip over some of these. Okay, this I was happy with. It was a New With Tags $145 Tommy Bahama floral fox wrap, faux wrap dress. I always say that wrong. I sold it for $50 and I rarely ever sell Tommy Bahama, so I was happy with that. Okay, this was Alberta Ferretti silk cashmere embroidered sweater. This was so nice super high quality very soft it was a v-neck and then on the sides it had embroidery and it did not photograph well which was really frustrating sometimes black items just don't photograph super well this was made in italy silky cashmere i sold it for 54 dollars. i actually wanted a lot more than that but i think because it didn't photograph very well that 54 was all i got but that was fine okay adriano goldschmied i have a very hit or miss luck with this um brand but these were the legging super skinny jeans. They were gray and they sold for $50. Super happy with that. I have a bunch of other pairs that are not selling, but I was really happy with this sale. Okay, I sold the brand Ibex. It was a 100% merino wool Juliet blue zip up jacket that sold, I think within a day. Super nice merino wool made in the USA. I probably could have gotten a little more for this, but sometimes when I get an offer, it's just... I just accept it. Okay, this was another cool brand to keep an eye out for. Um, I got this for free and it was a 200, it retailed for over $200. It was the brand Simply, S-Y-M-P-L-I. It's a chiffon adjustable kimono cardigan. This brand doesn't really look like anything special. It's a lot of like basic pieces, but it, it retailed for like over $200 and I sold it for 60. I got it for free. So really happy with that. Okay, I sold a pair of Free People boots. They retailed for $363. It was the Dorado snakeskin leather boots. I sold these for 50. I really wish that I had gotten more for these, but they did have some wear. And yeah, but 50 was fine. I sold a St. John multicolor tweed zip up jacket for $55. That was fine. I sold a new tags exclusively masuk black skirt for $50. Oh, here's a nice one. It was Gal Meets Glam. It was an Annie Blue Scuba Fit and Flare dress, and I sold it for $60. It sold right away. And I actually have a new with tags dress by Gal Meets Glam that's been sitting for like a year that has no interest. I think the style is kind of weird, and that might be why. But this one sold right away for $60. I actually got this in one of my thrift thrift with me videos too. I can't remember which one. Okay, I sold a pair of Free People Adele snakeskin flame suede toe boots. They did have some wear. I sold them for $63. I was happy with that. I sold a Sandro Paris Royal Blue textured halter dress for $60. Last year, one of my top sales was a Sandro dress that I sold for $200. I'll insert a picture here. It looked, it was either gold or silver, like depending on the light, it was metallic, super pretty. One of the prettiest dresses I've ever found. This one was a little bit boring, so it sold for $60. Sold an Alice and Olivia sequin snakeskin mini dress for $60. This did not photograph well either. I've seen some people sell Alice and Olivia for a ton. I have not had luck doing that so far, but I was happy with a $60 sale for what I had paid. Levi's 501 distressed straight leg high rise jeans. There was a lot of distressing in holes. They were mostly intentional. Um, and then it had some red discoloration on both sides because I washed it with something red. <laughs> but it sold for $55 and I was happy with that. Okay, I sold a Giorgio Armani emblem sweater. I had sent this in to ThreadUp and they listed it for like $200. It didn't sell, so I didn't have labels and I listed it. It sold for $50. That was fine. I wish I'd gotten more. Sold a pair of Rock Revival Berry Straight embellished jeans for $50. Oh, this one was surprising to me. It was White House Black Market Heeled Ankle Boot, and I didn't know if these were vegan or genuine leather. They felt like possibly genuine leather, but I listed in the description that I didn't know, and they sold for $54, and I don't usually have that great of luck with White House Black Market, so I was super happy with that. I sold a Prairie Underground Army Green Hemp Jacket. This was pretty recent, made in the USA. Yeah, it had pockets. It had these like black like lines, sold it for 60 very quickly. Sold a Giorgio Armani wool and satin black blazer for 55. Again, that's fine. I wish I had sold it on ThreadUp for like 200 though. Sold some dance co's for 50. Okay, a Theory Merino wool blend draped cardigan 
for 60, a 3.1 Philip Lim white double breasted coat for 65. Some of these I wish that I got on a little more. Yeah, I sold a bunch of things for like 50 and $60. This was an Erin Crafts Ireland 100% merino wool gray jacket. I sold this for 60. I believe I got that at the bins. Okay, this was the brand Tularosa. It was a new with tags wrap top. It was plaid, retailed for 148. I sold it for 65. I was really happy with that. A 100% merino wool garnet hill balloon sleeve sweater. This was really nice. It was crazy soft and I think I paid like $8 for this and I sold it for 65 so I was happy with that. A Free People 100% cashmere striped sweater. I sold it for $55. Here's another Tularosa. It was Tularosa Willa striped crochet crop wide leg pants. I sold them for $50. I purchased these on ThreadUp to resell. Some Escada, some Eileen Fisher. Some anthropology, some soft surroundings. Yeah, I don't really want to go through anymore because this video is kind of long already. But yeah, I don't make a ton of really high end sales. So the sales over $100 made me super happy. And I had a lot of $50 sales. I'm just not going to mention them. So yeah, I was pretty happy with my sales this year. They've been pretty slow lately though. And I am going to film a what sold on ThreadUp this year, my top sales on there. So if you like this kind of content, if you could like, comment, subscribe, it only takes a second and helps me out a lot. And I will see you next time. Bye.